Hi, everyone. Uh, recently, a commenter uh, had a question um, about uh, one of my videos. So um, they were saying, uh, uh, let me let me find their comment. So, so too bad explanation of homology. I was waiting for intuitive examples uh, instead of like how two curves or surfaces are homologous. So uh, this 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 video, the idea of homology, of course, um, I'm talking about the algebraic notion of of homology. So so this is a very general concept um, that uh, that we can talk about for for algebraic um, objects. The most general case, okay, you don't need to know what this means to understand this video, but something called abelian categories is where we can uh, consider this idea of homology and chain complexes. Um, but of course. Uh, Classically, historically, this comes from uh, a very specific kind of, of homology uh, that comes from topology. So uh, what this person is, is, is asking about is uh, topology, uh, uh, the, the notion of homology uh, in the topological, the sort of classical sense, which is a very special case um, of this general version of homology that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about um, in, in this video. So with that in mind, uh, then what I'm going to do is discuss just a little bit of the intuition behind the, um, the classical topological notion of, of homology. Um, and then maybe one day I'll eventually get around to doing it formally. Uh, but it's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into to doing this properly. So uh, for now, I'll just defer um, people to other um, uh, other other sources, textbooks, there's great uh, YouTube uh, channels. Perhaps I'll link some below. Um, uh, just some some other basic introductory things about you could have invented uh, homology. Um, so uh, for for now, though, I'll just give you my uh, quick intuitive explanation of homology. So the rough idea is that uh, homology. Uh, homology measures um, the, so, so if you have a topological space, X, you have a homology group um, uh, for, for every I going between, uh, for every natural number, where here I'm including zero, uh, you have a homology group of that space, and roughly the the group the the rank of this group of of you will expresses uh, to you the number of i dimensional holes um, in this in this space. Um, so you might have uh, seen before maybe you've you've heard about the fundamental group right and you've you've seen this uh, uh, picture of of some sort of surface like. Like maybe I've got this double donut, and um, you know someone someone tells you that uh, you know the fundamental group tells you like if you have loops um, in this space, it sort of it tells you uh, in some sense how many loops you can slide around the space that you can't uh, contract to a point, and somehow this measures the uh, the number of holes. Um, and this is true to an extent, but I think homology captures this idea a bit better. So um, there is a lot more information in in homotopy, uh, which is which is this this notion about about loops uh, loops and and the fundamental group. Um, so this is sort of telling you um, about this, but, but but like there's a lot more information that goes on um, in in uh, homotopy theory. Um, and and I think that homology is a better measurement of, of sort of n-dimensional holes because it, it cuts away some of that more complicated information. So at a loss, um, but, but homology is certainly more uh, uh, computable um, as well, which is a nice benefit. And, and, and I think better captures this notion. So, so let's explain, let me, let me explain this with a couple examples. Um, so first off, the, the zero dimensional holes, I mean, what is that? Uh, uh, even mean. Um, so, so this essentially counts for you the number of connected components. Um, so I should say your, uh, your homology, right? So by the, the fundamental theorem um, of, of abelian uh, groups, 
right? This, this says that your abelian groups are, are always going to look like, um, uh, you have some, some abelian group, what's it gonna look like? It's gonna look like some copy, uh, some number of, of uh, the, the integers, um, direct sum with itself some number of times. And, and this, is, this is the number that we call the rank. Um, and then you're also gonna have some direct sums of, of the integers uh, mod uh, whatever. And the, these are sometimes called like the, the torsion um, components. So you'll, you'll have some copies like this. And I don't know, call this MR or something. I probably should have made the rank R, but whatever. Um, and so, so your homology group for, for a space, the zeroth homology group, um, this is always going to be um, some number of copies of Z. Uh, maybe I'll, call, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put the R here. And this R uh, ends up being the number of uh, connected components. So these are sort of like zero dimensional holes, right? Like it's completely like rips your space in, in, into multiple pieces. So, so for instance, I mean, if, if you take any topological space um, that, that's connected, so, um, so let's say take the zeroth uh, homology of Rn for any n, uh, this is always just gonna be Z because you have one connected component. Um, if you took, you know, if, if, if X was, was maybe the, the disjoint union of say a sphere and a line so that they don't intersect, well then the, the homology, the zeroth homology group um, would be Z direct sum with Z. So we, we get a copy of Z for each of the uh, connected components. Uh, so what does a one dimensional hole look like? Well, the, the, the sort of um, primary example is uh, the circle. So, so, you know, if S, S1, we normally write for the, the you know, the topological space of, of the circle in the plane. Um, this has uh, one, so, so the zeroth homology of S1 uh, is, is Z, it's, it's connected. And uh, the first homology um, of S1 is going to be, well, there's, there's sort of, um, it, now it is, the first homology is related to this loop idea I mentioned before. So we sort of see that, that like it encloses um, this, this sort of space, right? There's a hole um, in S1 and, the, and there's exactly one hole. So, so the first homology of S1 would be Z. Um, so suppose you had like a, a, two, a, a space that was two loops, right? So maybe I'll, I'll call this space Y. Um, well, then again, uh, uh, this space, it's, it's zeroth homology. Uh, again, it's connected, so this would just be Z. And it's first homology. Uh, now there's two holes in the space, so we would get two copies of, of Z, and so on and so forth. Um, I should tell you, too, that the... Um, I don't know if this is going to be true in general. I think there's uh, there's 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 some weird spaces and and things with dimension, but but for sufficiently nice spaces, uh, generally the the um, maybe I'll write it as the ith homology group is just going to be zero for all i bigger than the the dimension of of your space. Um, so in both of these examples, all the higher homology groups. Um, R, um, R zero. And that makes sense, again, with this intuitive notion of, of how many n-dimensional holes, like in these spaces, there's no two-dimensional holes. There's no sort of two-dimensional cavity that, that the space contains. Um, so, so moving on in these examples then, um, uh, speaking of, so, so I think the, the spheres are, are, are a great way to, to, to um, get, get this intuition. So for example, um, S, uh, S2, right, the, the sphere, what's the homology of, of S2? Um, well, for, for, for S2, again, it's, it's zeroth homology. Uh, it's connected, so it just has one uh, homology group. Um, H1 of, of S2, now this is trivial, actually. There's no uh, zero-dimensional holes. And again, here it's okay to sort of lean on the intuition of this loop perspective, right? If you tried 
if you tried uh, making some loop on the sphere, I mean, you could always uh, uh, just sort of push it up, like tighten that loop and, and, and shrink it to a point. Um, and then it has uh, its second homology is sort of like you encloses this space, right? There's this sort of um, uh, void in that the sphere encloses. Um, and so, and so we have this, uh, I mean, it's a, like a three dimensional cavity, but we, we call this a two dimensional hole. Um, so the, the second homology group of the sphere is, is just Z. And then of course, <clears throat> all the uh, higher homology groups are zero uh, for I uh, greater than or equal to three. And, and uh, this is actually a general pattern. So, so we're gonna find that the nth homology group of the mth uh, sphere is going to be equal to uh, it, uh, uh, z when uh, n equals zero. So all the, the n-dimensional spheres are all connected. Um, and then uh, uh, it will be, uh, it will also be z <clears throat> in the uh, uh, specific case that n is equal to m. So when it's equal to the dimension, like we've seen this for S1 and S2, uh, and then in all other cases, uh, the homology group uh, will be trivial. Um, uh, so I think the spheres are a great example to, to gain intuition for this. Um, also, uh, uh, just as, as another one, I mean, uh, so Euclidean space definitely has no holes in it, right? It's sort of the most boring, normal, like a uh, flat kind of space. So, so um, let me just, uh, to be precise, the, the nth homology of R to the M is, uh, so this will be Z uh, when N is zero, of course, this is a connected space, um, and it'll be zero in, in all other cases. So it'll have uh, trivial homology. Um, so I think that's basically it for the, the you know, the general um, uh, in, in intuition of, of these uh, spaces. Oh, here's, here's maybe one thing I can say. Um, uh, so this isn't, uh, so it's a topological invariant. So, so what, what this means is, um, if you have, uh, two spaces that are say, uh, homeomorphic, right? So, so, so if X and Y are, are homeomorphic, if they're the same topological space, um, then, um, HX, uh, will be, is uh, isomorphic to HIY for all I, um, certainly. Um, and so this tells you this, um, but the converse, the converse doesn't hold, but, it, but at least this tells you that if you found, um, you know, if you're not sure, you, you've got two weird representations for space, you're not sure if they're homeomorphic or not. Well, if you find that for at least one I, their homology groups um, are different, then they can't be the same space, right? If they have different amounts of, of I dimensional holes for some I, th they can't possibly represent the same space. Um, but the converse fails, right? So, so for instance, um, if, if I let Z just be the uh, torus, um, uh, then the, uh, the zeroth homology of Z, this is connected. So again, we're just gonna get what, one copy of, uh, uh, of the integers. And uh, for the one dimensional holes, um, it has, um, oh, maybe this isn't a good, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so it has two one-dimensional holes because you can make a longitudinal loop or a long, longitudinal, latitudinal, longitudinal loops. Um, and then you can sort of view the, the, the inside tube as a single uh, one-dimensional hole. I was gonna give you an example of something that's homologous, but then I, I realized as I was writing this down, it's, it's not. So I uh, just consider this to be, to be an extra example. Yeah. So here's a lot of examples of, of homology. Um, uh, hopefully this gives you some idea of, of the intuition um, behind what this means. And you know, there's all sorts of cool things we can do. Like there's certain operations we can do on, on like concatenating spaces and this will control our, um, uh, uh, this will control 
how our space behaves. Let, let me say one last thing, um, actually, one, one last example here, because uh, I've given you examples just where, where the homology is said. Um, so take, take, if you like, the, the real projective um, plane, right? This is, uh, I've talked about this in, in other videos. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll link above uh, projective space, right? So this is Pac-Man world. Right, so it's it's like you can do you, you can walk around anywhere in here, but say if you enter over here, you'll come out at the antipodal point um, over here. So it's like a little little Pac-Man plane, and uh, uh, the let's see the the homology. I might be saying something wrong because maybe we have to say something about oriented spaces. Um, but so this space is certainly connected. This space is certainly connected, um, um, but now the first homology of the real projective plane, uh, this is the integers mod two. Uh, so here we actually see a, a, an example, which is, uh, it's not a copy of Z. Um, it's, it's actually Z mod two, um, but uh, so, so things, things can get weird and, and degenerate in, in projective space. Um, anyways, this is uh, uh, getting pretty long for what was just supposed to be a quick off the cuff video. Um, I, I hope this is a good start and uh, uh, maybe far off in the future, I'll, I'll make more technically precise videos on this topic. But uh, let me know if you have any more questions in the comments.